We have a uh, presentation for the Monmouth County Community Development uh, Block Grant Program. Uh, our chairman for that is Frank Ruskoviak, and Tom Savino was here as well. Yeah, those will pick you up fine. Good evening, gentlemen. How are you tonight? Good, Good evening. Sir. Good evening, May Mayor and Council Members. Tonight we are here to present the fiscal year 2016 Community Development Block Grant application known as the West Farms Road Sidewalk Project. My name is Frank Kruskoviak. I'm the chairman of the committee. With me tonight is Tom Savino, our CDBG representative, and Jim Herman, our com director of community development, and he's our CDBG alternate representative. On May 27, 2015, the Citizen Participation Committee met to discuss a few different potential projects for this year's application. After much discussion, the committee determined that the West Farms Road sidewalk project would best qualify for funding and therefore would be the pursued under this year's funding request. The project will include a design and construction of sidewalk curbing and possibility some minor um, drainage improvements. The sidewalk project will run along the north side of West Farms Road, traveling in an east to west direction approximately 2,000 feet from Oak Hill Trailer Park to the Home Depot Shopping Center. This sidewalk will supply a safe public walking access for commuters to and from Route 9 bus stops and all the retail services located at the intersection of Route 9 and West Farms Road. This sidewalk will supply access to the following retail services. Home Depot, Checkers, Dunkin' Donuts, Chase Bank, Jiffy Lube, World Coffee Grill and Convenience Store. This sidewalk will be a, supplying a safe walkway for the Oak Hill Trailer Park, which has 300 residential trailers, Countryside Place having 180 Mount Laurel apartment units, and the Green Acres Trailer Park having 100 residential trailers. The total comes to 580 residential units. Prior to tonight's meeting, we had held a separate public meeting to solicit input from local residents, but there was no residents attended, so we had no other input. In anticipation of continuing with the recommendation of the Citizen Participation Committee, Jim Herman, the Director of Community Development, did a cost estimate which included soft cost and construction cost. Based on his estimate, we are requesting a maximum grant of $200,000 from the county. We will not know the exact cost for engineering and inspections until the formal proposal is received. During the design process, we will work with the consultants to determine the final layout. This concludes the brief presentation this evening. If the council agrees with our presentation from the CDBG, rules require a quick straw poll vote from the council members to approve or deny the application. No formal resolution is required. We'll take questions from the mayor and council at this time. I have a question, and I like the plan. Were there any Were there any other plans that considered? Just for curiosity. There was one other with um, Whitecoff Road to do improvements there, but it, at the time, there's a lot of construction going on in the area. So instead of maybe doing that now, let the construction area maybe finish and see where you are at that point. So what's the odds, Jim, because we've been down this road like with community block grant money on Ford Road and you had to do it in phases and it took how many years and then at the end we wind up putting money in the capital to get this project completed. My concern is always we take on big projects, limited amount of money, $200,000, and these projects take forever. You have any idea what kind of numbers we're looking at? This seems to be a significant project, sidewalks and curbs and drainage. 200,000. Actually, the reason we, uh, one of the main reasons we did choose this was we felt everything could be done this year under one project. Right. It's actually not that long. Uh, it's about 2,000 feet total. And I did cost estimates already for uh, curb and sidewalk work to be, to be done there. And it was underneath 200,000. Really? So, yeah. So we felt that rather than doing Wyckoff Mills Road, which was going to be way over that amount if we had to pave the entire road, and we didn't want to do the 400 feet chop up six phases later to get there, 
we felt that this was something that was tangible, it was needed, it was right now and would be done under one project. So that was one of the reasons why the, the committee chose this one versus Wyckoff Mills. So reality, this is probably like a two to three year project because you still got to cover the cost of engineering or are you doing that in house? No, I think with the cost of engineering included, the only thing I might need to uh, cover out of, out of that would be inspection. Um, I don't have proposals yet. We didn't go to any of the consultants to ask for proposals. So I believe design and all of construction would definitely be covered by the grant amount. I don't know if inspection services would. That would be based on the numbers. It is a tough little stretch, too. I mean, I've, been, I've driven that many times in the wintertime, and, oh, yeah. and you have people out there no, walking up project. to the bus stop right in the road. It's not their fault. There's snow on the ground. There's ice. Uh -oh. No, I um, see people walking all the time. Yeah, it's uh, I could see this being a, being a tremendous benefit to, to some of the people in, in, in that neighborhood. Uh, they can be done for the 200000 I'm all for this. Any other discussion? Yeah, uh, on Fort Plains Road, we're going to put the concrete island the area of refuge. You're not going to have to modify uh, uh, Fort Plains in order to accommodate that uh, uh, the island of refuge, are you? Well, yes, we would need to uh, do whatever we have to do for that island. Um, there wouldn't be much paving work associated with it, and it would just be crosswalks and uh, curb ramps at each side. The reason, it, the reason I have an island chosen for right now, this is all tentative, is because it's a very wide intersection. I know. I, it's over 80 feet wide, exactly. and that's, that's too far for the design standards for a pedestrian to walk safely and not have an area in the middle to kind of hang at for a little while. So that's why I'm proposing that. Obviously, once we would get a consultant on board, you know, they would come up with final design that I would approve, and then we would move forward. Because that's a tough angle. I, I yep. do that a lot when I go to Home Depot myself. And yep. when you're making that turn, it's, it's often you have a line of sight that, that's a probability at that point. Right. Anything else? It's just a straw poll, right? Straw poll, anybody? Well, I think you need to open up to the public. Okay. Thank you. Uh, at this time, we'll open the floor up to any public comment on the choice of the West Farms Road sidewalk curbing and drainage project for this year's CDB, CDBG grant application. Any member of the public? Seeing none, we'll close the public portion of that hearing. Straw poll vote, all those yeah, numbers? Yeah, just one more question. In terms of the vegetation, the trees, they don't pose any problem to the construction of the sidewalk? You're going to have to take any trees down or, or uh, modify the... Uh... It looks like it's going to be mostly trimming. Uh, there's some evergreen trees that are located closer towards the trailer park that might require a, a canopy envelope of, you know, we'll say 10 feet, 12 feet, just around the sidewalk. I don't really anticipate having to remove any trees. No but root issues either? No root, root, root issues, the tree roots? That'll have to be determined once we get there. Okay. You know, if we get too close, we might have to take a tree out here and there. That'll be a decision we make at that point, at that time. Okay. Ms. Wallman, you want to just read a quick roll call, record it? Mr. Gaz? Yes. Mrs. Smith? Yes. Mr. Walsh? Yes. Mr. Nicastro? Yes. Mayor Gatto? Yes, gentlemen, you have your direction. Thank you for your committee activity. Thank, Thank you. Great Tom, project. Thank you very much. Thank you.